Hey everybody. This video is called The Truth About Printer Ink Cartridges. In this video I'm going to share with you some facts that many printer companies probably don't want you to know about your ink cartridges. And this video has to do with modern day cartridges but before I get started I'm going, I'll go ahead and share with you some general information about the past when it comes to printer ink cartridges. Used to be most cartridges had the print head actually installed within the cartridge unit itself and um, that's one of the reasons why a cartridge used to be very expensive but of course there's another reason that's pretty obvious the printer companies want to make a bunch of money off of the cartridge but nowadays modern ink cartridges actually have the print head separate and the print head is actually where the cartridges get installed so when you buy a replacement cartridge you're only buying the plastic casing with some foam inside of it that has the ink actually inside the cartridge. It used to be, um, that was a very simple way to circumvent having to pay excess amounts of money to keep ink in your inkjet printer. You know, simply refill the cartridge. All you had to do was drill a hole in the appropriate spot and just squirt in some new ink and keep on printing. And most printers, back in the say in the mid 2000s, usually had an indicator that told you when you had to replace your cartridge. All you had to do was simply reset it by going in and saying this is a new cartridge. But most printer companies nowadays had come up with a little trick. See, um, for those who don't already know, when you look in your print printer's control panel, like let's say software on the computer, and it's saying your cartridge is low on ink or your cartridge is out of ink you need to replace your cartridge truth is there is no sort of metering inside this cartridge that actually detects how much ink is in it there's a little chip or at least on modern day cartridges there's a little chip located right here it's a on Kodak it's a little two terminal chip it's like a little memory chip it guesses how much ink's left in the cartridge. And when it says it's empty, you must replace the cartridge. This is why when you refill your cartridge, it'll keep saying, cartridge is empty, you must replace cartridge. So even though um, there's actually still ink left in the cartridge, you still have to replace your cartridge. <clears throat> so that way the printer companies could get their money. And in some cases, there were tools out where you could actually reset those chips. And sometimes you can get these chips real cheap just to pop them in. I mean, they're real simple. You just pull this little tab down. And off it comes. There's your chip. This little bitty thing. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. <clears throat> this here is the little chip that guesses how much ink is left in your cartridge this little bitty chip and see there are often many times where this little bitty chip makes many mistakes in guessing how much ink is left in the cartridge let's say your print head clogs up now in the back in the good old days when um, you weren't forced to replace your cartridge the print head will try to print, but um, it will not actually be sucking in the ink from the cartridge. So the ink that's actually in the cartridge could still be used later on. But with this little chip in play, even though none of the ink actually got pulled out of the cartridge, it's still considered as ink used. So um, here's a little bit of truth. Of course, let's say you have a Kodak printer, and it says it's time to replace your ink cartridge. And most people think all oh, is actually empty. We need to replace it. But here's some truth. Even though you just had to spend what either ten or twenty dollars on a replacement cartridge, truth is, this cartridge here is not out of ink. Here's a little piece of paper, a little note note card, and here's the back end of a paintbrush. Go ahead and get some proof here just to show you something. 
What's that right there? That is ink. There's still ink left in that cartridge. Of course, there's not that much, but there's still ink in that cartridge. So as you can see, I could just I just wrote cube computer on the back of this note card using ink that was left in this cartridge. See that? See that's ink that could have been used to actually print on your paper. And here's some more of that ink. This I'm just I'm gonna turn this thing up the side. I mean, just look at all that ink. There's plenty of ink left in that cartridge. So right now you are all seeing the truth about printer ink cartridges. At least modern day ones. When they say they're out, it's not because they're actually out of ink. It's because that printer company is desperately hurting for cash and wants you to um, pay up for some more cartridges. <clears throat> and of course Kodak says, oh you can save money on ink with us, but... I'm going to actually show you guys some real um, ways to save money on ink, and it's actually not using ink at all. It's actually called Toner, and it's in a laser printer. I'll feature that in another video. <clears throat> Which, by the way, um, for our basic printing task, we now use a laser printer. Now I'm going to repeat these steps of color. And this color cartridge claims that it's out of ink too, so let's go ahead and debunk that myth. Now we got a mixture of black and yellow. <clears throat> so there's you some yellow. And go do some blue. There's you some blue. I mean, just look at all that. I guess if my piece of crap Kodak printer won't print it out, I guess I'll, um, I'll use that ink myself. So here I am printing, using up some ink that the printer failed to use up because it said the cartridges didn't need to be replaced. Now I finally let's do it with the red. Now, of course, these aren't the actual names of the colors in the color cartridge. You have, um, see, I think it's yellow, cyan, magenta, all that kind of stuff. I just call it yellow, red, blue. If you want to be honest. And there is some red. So, truth is, when, um, that ink cartridge says it's out of ink, it's actually not. So anyways, um, there are some truths about um, modern day printer ink cartridges. Companies like Kodak, Skidmark, well I call, um, that's, that's my name for Lexmark, HP, and others, they're just hurting for money. So they implement this little bit of chip into their cartridges to make them guess when they're out of ink. And when it says, oh, it's out of ink, you are forced to replace your cartridge. Even though there is still lots of ink left in it. I mean, this, this cartridge is still quite heavy. So there is still some ink left in that cartridge. So anyways, um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask and thanks for watching.